Uh, good afternoon, or yeah, afternoon. Uh, so I'm going to be doing a quick uh, bit of work on uh, cameras in the way. Uh, making a little bit of a game for Wizard Jam. There's a day left. Um, I'm just getting started. So uh, the point of Wizard Jam is to make a uh, game based on uh, an Idle Thumbs episode title. So it's an like Idle Weekend. So uh, the most recent Idle Weekend was History Doomed to Repeat Itself. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use that as my title. So I'm thinking what I'm going to go for is a uh, little patrol board real quick. Alright. By the way, if anybody shows up in chat, uh, please have uh, some patience. Uh, I don't uh, tend to get hardly any viewers. Chat client's actually saying I'm offline. God. Um, yeah, maybe it's not offline. Dashboard real quick. Yeah, it's definitely... Um, need to cut down on my that client. Okay, well, I guess it's up. Anyway, um, if you show up in chat, please have some patience while I, uh, while, uh, it might take me a while to see your comment if I, if I see it. This is going to be a relatively short stream. I'm going to try to get as much done as I can. So uh, we need to uh, build out a quick level. Uh, I need to... To do doing done is uh, the most common way people will tend to do Trello boards. I'm just going to do to do and done um, and skip the doing. No. Uh, so. So the point is, I'm thinking of making a quick little Doom game where you have to fight across a level, uh, accomplish a goal, probably pick up a key card. I'm going to make the level completely static. Um, then once you finish the level, I'm going to respawn you um, and have recorded the initial player character's actions, replay them, um, delay, probably just delay your actions for like a second or two so you have to watch the guy go off then you also have to uh, accomplish a goal in the second run through while keeping the first player alive. Um, and uh, there'll be new enemies spawning. These enemies can attack either player, so effectively the first player will be a ghost car. Um, I'm going to try to see how much I can get done. Obviously, I don't have that much time left in uh, the competition. There's a day uh, in a couple hours. But uh, let's just go ahead and get started and see what happens. So build a quick level. Uh, or, uh, I'm gonna uh, gonna try to just like swap out a pistol for a pro builder box block. Um, just uh, I want to add a add an edge render shader. Try to make a, or uh, a, some kind of shader just to make it look a little bit less like junk, I guess. Um, Wanna create uh, an HTML5 build for itch.io? Uh, the game jams run on itch.io, but I actually just recently found itch.io does a phenomenal job uh, with the Unity uh, web player builds. Um, it, uh, I put a little game up there and it worked out great. Anyway, um, build quick level. Um, So in in uh, I'm thinking of using something like a braid style system, 
of uh, recording your actions. Um, I guess maybe I could probably use a, a network style system where I would uh, capture your actions on a given uh, frequency, but we'll just, we'll see. Require actions. This might actually be a little bit too much uh, functionality to try to develop the end of a game jam time period, but like so let's just let's see what happens. Um, so I'll build a super quick level. Um, I'd like to be able to like pull in the iconic doom door open close sound effects and like dunk when you finish the level. Um, but we'll just see what happens. I'm gonna stream for a little bit right now anyway. Player action. Uh, monsters. Right now I'm thinking of doing, uh, I was thinking the name of the game would be History Doomed to Repeat Itself, or History Doomed to Repeat Itself, uh, third of its name. And you'd have uh, three time periods you have to go through. If you died on the second time time period, um, you would respawn. It would restart just that time period, so you wouldn't have to do like all three at once or anything. But I would also, you know, give them a one button uh, option to jump back a time period because it's po it's highly possible. Um, that you could create a first run playthrough that would be impossible to solve the second and third run playthroughs. Um, and you'd have no way of knowing that the first time through. I'm going to try to not do that, but it's going to be real balancing. I mean, there's going to be almost no time to get, well, hardly anything done, so we're just going to start. See what happens. Uh, I'm running some music in the background. This is game music. Um, I found some of the Mass Effect 3 soundtracks. Some of the guys have actually put up a, like uh, licensing restrictions, so if I get muted um, and you're in chat, let me know, but never mind. Anyway, just go ahead and get started. Do I have pro grids on? Yeah, it's not snapping at all. Mom.
Oh, I haven't created this yet. Okay. Maybe that's... Who knows? Maybe that's... Problem. Taking a while to build. Come on. Hold on. Maybe I shouldn't have built it in so many segments. Oh, mocked. Okay, so yeah, it didn't want to snap because it was, uh... Didn't want to snap because it, um... Not built yet. That certainly makes sense. Okay, let's go ahead and... Grab this whole thing. Put it at... So we're just putting it in the center. I'm gonna bring it to negative 10, whatever. Let's make it a ground. Delete everything else. Alright, so now we got a silly little plane. Bring it back up to two. Okay, so there's our snap right there. I'm surprised it's so far. Negative twenty five, negative two. Uh, this is using uh, Pro Builder and the UFPS um, <clears throat> UFPS asset. It's a really nice uh, first-person controller. The first-person controller is built in um, to Unity. Are have a lot of issues with uh, mouse, um, and this just comes built in with gamepad support. Um, it's a nice asset, but it's neither here nor there. Okay, why am I maxing out my CPU? Unity job process. Okay, so I need to turn off light baking. Uh, turn off auto rebuild. I don't care enough. Um, I might build lighting at the end, but I'm probably just going to put a shader on everything anyway. All right, and CPU is down to 70%. That's still really high, although 
25% of that is OBS. Alright, what is killing Chrome? Oh, I still got video preview. Oh, hide the preview and then of course immediately refresh doesn't actually hide the preview. Alright, and... Just me and chat. Okay, cool. Alright, I am using 5.4 um, data, data, I don't even know, I think 17. Uh, so, some of these errors. Pass key is not allowed during serialization, use on enable instead. It's a single error. I'm not going to worry about it. I, I dislike errors, but um, I think we're kind of stuck uh, for this for this uh, section. Um, so um, okay, so I want to switch out the pistol just for silly little gun real quick. So let's just go ahead and make ourselves a. Uh, let's see. Wow, that shouldn't be out there. I want it that like where I could see it. Camera. Alright, so what kind of gun do we want? Let's go with Air gun. Start with. Start with a pipe. Build this thing. Let's call it. So I got my human to scale. Let's try to go ahead and make it smaller than him. We're still going to make a stupid. No, we'll not make it that stupid. Two, five. Five. Thickness. Yeah, sure. Why not? All right, then let's go ahead and Snap? I should forget how to do that anyway. Let's not do that. Why are you being... 
Oh, it's because I'm not using the right. Let's just call this our. Let's just call this our. Uh, um, what? Did oh, I really want it like that? Huh? Why? Both of the rotations seem to be doing the same thing. Very odd. Both of them rotate on the same axis. Dumb gun. Yeah, okay, so I definitely can't use the Unity. Uh, definitely can't use the Unity. Uh, next selection. 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 Definitely can't use the Unity uh, transforms. Didn't realize. Oh, well, yeah, just can't touch them. Gosh, why don't I have like my extrude and normal? The Pro Builder has less than I thought. Anyway. It's going to make uh, actually building my level with Pro Builder a lot more challenging than I had recalled. Well, Remember, that's all it takes to make prefab. Yep, that's not prefab. Um, leave that prefab. Now it's prefab, so if I can swap out.
All right. Way too big. Vector. Alright, so that is our gun. Ba -ba. It has a mesh, a muscle. So, I think what I need to do is push it out from zero. Go ahead and create an empty. And then all this. My gun for some, some silly reason. And I'm going to push the pipe out to... Get this rotation. There's F. zero 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 position. Okay, that's I, I did that position. Uh, so Rotate that by 90. No idea why it... Weird. Uh, so I need to get in the same orientation as that hand. Go ahead and... Some more orientation to the hand, and let's push it out. So let's uh, let's push this out. Set out one. Push that out. Push that out. What? Are we rotated? I don't think we are. Oh. They've rotated this thing funny. I rotated the gun inside my rotation. Weird. Um, let's go on. go with this as a silly gun. Okay, so then I'm going to put this into prefabs. And then this will replace pistol one. Sorry. 
screen off screen. Not working. Hmm. Now, go back to. Oh, that's the non-HD weapon anyway. And part of the problem. They uh, redid... Uh, the UFPS redid their... Redid the... Uh, props to... Uh, allow a um, higher quality higher quality uh, set of weapons and so the uh, pistol was the ones for a long time ago anyway let me go ahead and figure out what I need to do Cool. I'm cool with us losing the uh, skin. That actually looks better. Uh... For now, we're just going to get rid of those. That's not what I want. Ba 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 ba. How do I just? Uh, that just got rid of the knife, so that the only thing we have is this now untextured pistol. Which actually, it's a lot better. Oh. Oops, oops. Alright, I just, uh, 
wanted to expand that out a little bit so that you could see um, side in a little I'm sitting with my computer. Yeah. All right, so it's unfortunate. Talk about. Go ahead. Get rid of that silly stuff. Okay, so all right, so <clears throat> let's. like to know why we lost extreme but all right so we need a uh, end point go ahead and make a uh... not the directional line Make a make an arch. That was unexpected. Make a meter arch, but meter arch. the uh, lack of light baking which is uh, not having any lighting underneath there um, so see what I can do with that real quick to a little bit of light without necessarily having to I pulled the inspector off. Really should not take long to bake. There's one freaking thing. It's static. An arch. And we've got a plane and they're marked static.
can't believe that this uh, air would make it take so long to uh, bake. I mean, baking is CPU intensive, so it's possible the uh, OBS was getting in the way, but still didn't build it. What the hell, guys? Normal build real quick. I don't have final gather. a lot quicker without the okay you know what fine this is our lighting we have added a gradient It's dumb, but at least it's not. So. So, All right, just to have a little bit of something. All this takes a lot of getting used to. Anyway, I have reached the uh, time frame, my time limit uh, for this particular stream. There's three things I'll miss, though. 